Good morning, everyone. We welcome you from near and far to the Church of the Immaculate Conception in Glenville, New York. Today is Monday, June 14th. It is the 11th week of ordinary time, and today is also Flag Day here in the United States of America. Our presider is Father Jack Varno. We welcome him, we thank him for all he does for our three parishes. But before we begin, we remember in our prayers our fellow parishioners who have died on this date. Susan C. Albrecht, 1972. Werner Grabo, 1980. And Jenny Markowitz, 1992. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. And may their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Barney, Good morning. and welcome to our celebration of the Liturgy of the Lord. And as we do so, we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My sisters and brothers, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sin. For the times that we have failed to see you as our God, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times that we have failed to see God in each other, Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times that we as church have failed to be a sign of God's light and love, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us all to everlasting life. And let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as your fellow workers, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, in an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable ta time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We cause no one to stumble in anything in order that no fault may be found with our ministry. On the contrary, in everything we command ourselves as ministers of God through much endurance in afflictions, hardships, constraints, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, vigils, fasts, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness in the Holy Spirit, in unfeigned love, in truthful speech, in the power of God. With weapons of righteousness at the right and at the left, through glory 
and dishonor, insult and praise. We are treated as deceivers and yet are truthful, as unrecognized and yet acknowledged, as dying and behold we live, as chastised and yet not put to death, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet enriching many, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, the Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has done. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn back on one who wants to borrow. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. This command of Jesus, or direction, however we want to look at it, can very often seem very, I don't know what to call it, but extreme, because an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth seems like we're out there to get each other. And yet, it's not what God, Jesus, is saying to us as he speaks to his disciples. He goes on to say that if, 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 then, and I think if we are to put that all into perspective, and to hear what it is that Paul is saying to us this morning, the message becomes very clear. Because in our opening prayers, we asked in this liturgy that God be with us as we go through our deeds and our plights, as we journey in the everyday. And isn't that what Paul is talking about when he speaks to us? We cause no one to stumble in anything in order that no fault may be found with our ministry. And what is our ministry? Our ministry is to be as Jesus was, as Paul was, people of charity people of understanding, people who are willing to go the extra mile as we hear Jesus speaking to us. 
the extra mile with those who might be different than we are, those who may have a different perspective, those who may have a different way of life. And yet, Jesus says to us today, be willing to be charitable, to be open, kind and merciful. And as we gather here, we, together with Paul, pray that we have an openness, an openness to know that God is with us as we journey in the everyday, in our pleas and our deeds, in knowing that truly the Lord has saved us and raised us up, will give us the courage and the strength that we need to continue to be all that Jesus has called us to be. But I say to you, offer no resistance. Be kind, loving, and understanding. And now let us offer our prayers and our petitions to the Lord. For those who will enter into our ministries today, that will be open to them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our country, as we celebrate once again our worth, our dignity, our value. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who have asked our prayer and those for whom we ought to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we thank you for your goodness, for your love, and your understanding of us as people. We ask you for the courage and the strength to continue to know you and to love you as you do us through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread and wine to offer, which earth has given human hands to form. They will become for us our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God of our My friends, let us pray that our sacrifice will be most acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand. For the praise and glory of Jesus. For our good and good of God's holy church.
O oh God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourish us with food, and renewing us with your sacrament, grant that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praise adds nothing to your greatness, but profits us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so in the company of the choirs, with the choirs of angels, we praise you as we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God, God of power and Lord. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. The same way, when supper was ended, he took the cup again. He gave you thanks and praise, gave that cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It'll be shed for you and for all people so that sin might be forgiven. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, Howard, Bishop Emeritus, with all bishops, clergy, religious, and the entire people your sons came for his own. Remember also all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, of all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. God is our Father and Jesus our brother, and therefore we have the right and the privilege to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and all unnecessary anxiety. As we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. For only say my word in the spirit so. And may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Together we pray the prayer of spiritual communion. I wish my Lord to receive you with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your most holy mother received you, with the spirit and fervor of the saints. Amen.
and let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may bring it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our liturgy has ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be God. Have a good day.